Tonight, after a full game and 30 minutes of overtime, the fate of Toronto FC and Seattle Sounders came down to that. A sudden death shootout. Seattle taking the win in TFC's first Major League Cup championship final. Disappointment for the home team as our neighbors to the south accepted the MLS Cup less than 30 minutes ago. Good evening, I'm Andrea Case. Toronto fans were also crushed to see their faithful FC falter to the Sounders in the neck-and-neck -neck game. The stands were packed. A record-breaking 36,000 fans came to cheer on their team of choice. For Toronto, this was a historic game, the first time TFC have played in a championship. CTV Sean Lethong is outside BMO Field. Sean, 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 a scoreless event that went into overtime tonight. How are fans feeling about the result? of this last-minute nail-biter. Well, Andrew, i got to say there's a lot of long faces coming out of BMO Field right now. After all, TFC seemed to have the edge in this one. They outshot Seattle 7 to nothing in this game, and they seemed to hold the edge in play for the entire night, but they couldn't put the ball in the net through overtime and then the penalty kicks, and it really came down to one kick that hit the crossbar in sudden death. Well, Seattle managed to put all of theirs in the net, but then as soon as it was done, as soon as we found out that Seattle had, in fact, won the championship, the fans were piling out, and they were gracious in defeat, but you could tell just how tough they were taking it. But I got to say, there were probably about 2,000 fans who were ecstatic. There's one section from Seattle who is just above me right now who are still inside BMO Field cheering their championship team. You got to hand it to them. But a little while ago, I spoke to a few TFC fans, and they weren't so happy. Boys played good. They gave us a good effort there, but 